Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and today we're joined with John Barrington and John Constantinopoulos from Atria. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about Atria? Yeah, thank you uh, for the opportunity to join you. Atria is a Perth Western Australia based health care company that is using artificial intelligence powered by Amazon Web Services to rapidly and accurately detect heart disease from CT scans. We've pioneered this technology in Western Australia and are world leading in what we're doing in this particular area. And importantly, we're able to identify the real cause of death by heart attack. Wow, it is so amazing to see innovation of this kind within the healthcare industry. So how does cloud technology fit in with everything you guys are doing? Yeah, it's, it's probably uh, it's probably three pronged uh, approach that we've taken on that. And the first one, it's it's because we're looking to scale globally on this. Uh, it, it was really important for us that whatever platform we used uh, is ubiquitous. So. And because of the nature of the, the products that we're developing, being able to access patients' information, um, data privacy and um, data sovereignty was really, really important. So the ubiquitous nature of cloud really helps us to take our solution and build multiple tenancies in multiple countries and still maintain that, um, that the privacy and confidentiality of, of that data. Um, the second thing is it allowed us to quickly develop and access tools for our product development. So we, we were able to rapidly get to a beta product uh, and prototype for us to trial our customers. And then also now we're moving to uh, a market release early next year, which has allowed us to then access some of those tools to, to, to do that further, further development and, access, and use our artificial intelligence algorithms to host that in the cloud. And the, the, the final thing is around our business model. Um, we want to make it really easy for our customers to use our, to access our solution and use our solution and then subsequently pay for our solution. So all three of those um, cloud has enabled us to do that really, really well and really, really quickly as well. That's incredible. And given that heart disease is actually one of Australia's biggest killers, what do you think the impact of AI led early detection will be? Well, that's correct, Ali. It's not only Australia's largest cause of death, it is the largest cause of death worldwide. There's more than 18 million people a year die of heart disease. So it is significant. And importantly, the reporting of people at risk has been delayed. There was 230,000 people in the United Kingdom waited a month for their CT report to be received by their cardiologist. And, and of course, we're talking life and death here yeah. in terms of the essence. So whereas that, that was extreme, radiologists typically take one to three days to report CT scans. Using Amazon Web Services, we can do it in less than 10 minutes. So there's orders of magnitude benefit in the time delay. Importantly, the accuracy that I mentioned previously and the ability to identify the particular plaques that are the real cause of death mean that we can have a significant impact in reducing the number of deaths and of course also the emotional cost to families, the cost to practices, and at a larger scale, the cost to the entire healthcare system. That's amazing. Can you give us a little more insight into the way you guys use AI to identify your patients? Yeah, absolutely. If, as, as John mentioned, we're focusing primarily on CT scans and the way a CT scan is constructed is it's, it's a volume of data um, and uh, with, with multiple hundreds of slices that uh, that a patient gets scanned, that the patient's heart gets scanned through. And the, the, it becomes quite complex because the resolution of that scan is, is quite obscure. And where AI really helps us, it, firstly, we look to scroll through the whole volume and detect all the arteries. So we have to find all the arteries and the sub-branches in that, and what, what we call center line extraction. So basically find the center line of those arteries. 
And from there, think of it as a driverless car. We, we basically drive the AI through every artery, one looking forward, uh, but also looking in the rear view mirror, looking behind to cons con uh, consistently learn um, and understand where the areas of disease are. So the way that the AI is currently constructed is that it self learns. So, and that's the reason why we've got the hindsight mechanism in there. So that if it does find that it's gone down the wrong course, that can self-adjust and then find its way down the right pathway and look for disease and continuously look for disease. So as I mentioned earlier, the, we, part of what we do is the, uh, the centine extra extraction and the, the wall extraction of the arteries. And behind us is one of the, one of the scans. This is a real life patient scan, wow. which we run our AI through. So you can see all the red over here is what the, arch, what the AI is extracted from. The, the CT volume and through the centline extraction and then um, extracted the outer wall as well as the inner wall of the arteries and generated the, the, the artery network of the heart over here. So it's a really good testament of what our team has been doing uh, together with, with uh, AWS. That's incredible. You guys are doing such amazing work. So what's next for Atria? What can we expect to see? Well, we are starting in Australia, as you may be aware. Um, this is a global play and there's a global need for this. So to expand beyond Australia is the next market step for us. In terms of the product, we can actually step out into other areas of the heart. Um, we're focused on the coronary artery disease, but coronary heart disease, um, pulmonary embolism, stroke, Alzheimer's, because we've got the core capability of the artificially, uh, the artificial intelligence powered uh, vision capabilities, then we can step out beyond um, what we're doing. But right at the moment, we're focused uh, in the Australian market and then we'll um, select uh, an international market into which we'll enter um, with IWS. Guys, thank you so much for being on the show. It's been absolutely fascinating to hear the journey and, and everything you're doing. And it's really cool to speak to customers who are doing so much good in the world. So thank you for being on the show. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.